She is spontaneous and fun and caring and can really see the real me. And she's her authentic self with everyone she meets, so much so in fact that within 30 seconds, if she doesn't have a stranger's family history, then she's uh, disappointed and frustrated. Um, and that was, uh, that was a unique experience for me when I met Hadley to have somebody who uh, wanted to really know me and gave me the opportunity to figure out how to get to know someone. So really, the thing I love most about her is that she's genuine and um, she really sees me for me. My experience with giving her gifts is that I try to find something that is really unique and has a story behind it. And, you know, at this point, in our in our life and in our marriage together uh, uh there's there's so many things we've learned about each other that it's kind of um kevin hadley 2.0 and we have this we've adopted this symbol the ampersand symbol of our life in that we can have uh you know kids and fun together and be responsible and be you know uh chaotic and irresponsible and i think you know having a, a ring made just for her kind of embodies uh, those aspects of, of and where it's traditional, but it's also something kind of big and sparkly like her. And um, it has elements of the last ring we had, the first engagement ring. And it has new stuff that she's really discovered that she likes and really wants in a, in a new piece. So she gets the chance, she has the chance to just ask for that and get that. And that's also something new is, um, you know, asking for exactly for what we want and and, um, and manifesting that. So there's a whole lot of reasons I like kind of having a custom ring, the, the experience of um, uh, working uh, with you, Vanessa, and having it be exactly what Hadley wants, which is uh, you know what she deserves. I remember my first date with Hadley because we went to Las Vegas and stayed at the Bellagio. I kind of invited her on a whim. I didn't think she'd say yes. I was headed there for business and there was this amazing woman that I felt was like so out of my league. Um, but for some reason, I got up the courage to ask her. And uh, she didn't say yes right away. She made me wait a little bit. And then, uh, of course, said yes. I was very excited about it. And we went to the Bellagio and we had a wonderful time. I remember meeting her in the airport. Uh, I was there. She had flown in from Atlanta. She was wearing all white, and this is woman that everybody was watching, and had this big frilly hair, and um, we just really enjoyed a lot of the same things. We shut down all the restaurants we went to. I had long conversations and went to see O for the first time. We're actually going back to the Bellagio here in a few days as um, to renew our vows, and uh, um, it's kind of a uh, reminiscing of our first date together in Las Vegas. So I'm not sure the exact moment that I fell in love with Hadley. It was probably a series of moments, but a few things that come to mind are um, one of our early dates. I uh, also invited her to Paris, and I remember going to the Rodin Museum with her. And you know, for an engineer, uh, this was kind of not something I would normally do. And she knew so much about the art and made it really accessible to me. And that was just. I knew this was going to happen. Um, that was a really wonderful experience because here was a person that was interested in me, but also interested in so many things that uh, were new to me. And that was kind of a wonderful experience um, to share that with her. Uh, I think there were many moments as well where um, her kind of accepting me as a, as a parent uh, for her kids was also wonderful. I, I remember her loving that I was playing sports with her kids and also a good dad and you know that's so important to me and having somebody acknowledge that I was a good parent and a good uh, you know potential husband and a good business person and, and all of that just again her acceptance of me is probably what made me fall more and more in love with her and um, she's just kind of wonderful to be around too. In this next stage of being married with Hadley, I'm really looking forward to uh, enjoying each other. It may sound odd, but you know we've been together for a long time. We've had a sometimes really complex and complicated, and at times really difficult life, and together. Um, 
you know, with uh, a, a step family and different jobs and different places and travel and being away and, uh, you know, both being strong personalities. Um, and I think we've gotten to a place where we really understand and accept each other for who we are. And I think uh, for me, I'm really excited about just getting to enjoy that. I've always, I've always had this a little bit idealistic view of, you know, I would grow old with Hadley and, you know, we just had to get through the, t the difficult times to, to get there. But it was always kind of an intangible concept to me. Um, these, this last year in particular, I, I really believe that now and I really can feel that that we're going to be together and it's a nice feeling to know that um that she's going to be there for me and i'm going to be there for her hi honey i'm really excited to be going through this process of of discovering a new ring with you um it obviously has a lot of meaning to both of us and um, I get really excited when I see the joy in your eyes and the excitement you have and getting something really sparkly and on fire and exactly what you want. Um, and I feel like we've done this together like so many other things and I'm really excited to see it and to be able to give you another ring. That's kind of going to be fun for me. And um, I just want you to know that I love you so much and I can't wait to see you together in Las Vegas. <laughs>